And now, the return of David Bowie, the man who has arguably dictated the sounds and the styles of both the 70s and the 80s more than any other single pop performer. In recent years, he's concentrated more on his work as an actor than a singer. But today, he announced details of his new album and his first live concert dates in years. He'll also be seen in two feature films, The Hunger and Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence. His comeback was marked by an old-fashioned, lavish showbiz reception where David Bowie gave Robin Denslow one of his rare television... In Claridge's, that most exclusive of hotels in London's West End, at lunchtime today. Times are hard in the record industry, but EMI are celebrating. Against serious opposition, and for very serious money, they've just signed a real superstar. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. David Bowie. <laughs> can I sit down here? Yes. Yeah, sure. No, I can't. Have our flight back. Uh, come and sit in a room with 75 journalists. Over the last year, I've made a couple of movies, and I've completed an album and a single called Let's Dance. And tomorrow, tickets go on sale in the UK, and in the next few days in the rest of Europe. For Just flown in from Australia. Plans for additional dates David in Bowie is here merely to announce his new album, the first in three years, and his first live shows for five years, the whole thing from style. The first tiny hints of that came when he made his first BBC television appearance 19 years ago in 1964. He was then still David Jones and founder of the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Long-Haired Men. Now, exactly who's being cruel to you? Well, I think we're all fairly tolerant, but for the last two years we've had uh, comments like, Darling and uh, Can I Carry a Handbag thrown at us. I think it's just had to stop now. As Bowie, he took those ideas of fashion, style, and personal rebellion much further. Now, Ziggy play guitar, jamming good with weird and get it. Spiders from Mars, well, he played it left hand, but he made it too far. Became the special man, then we were Ziggy's band. His music has ranged from rock to black American soul to more experimental electronic dance styles, and his stage image has changed accordingly. This was his creation, Ziggy Stardust, making his farewell in 1973. The new single, Let's Dance, shows Bowie changing again to New York black funk styles. It's his first release for EMI after 12 years with another record company, RCA against whom Bowie now makes the remarkable accusation that they try to dictate his style. EMI don't give lavish receptions like this very often. They won't say how much they paid for Bowie, but rumours range from 10 million to 17 million pounds for a five-year contract. Reportedly so, yes. I'm, I'm overwhelmed that I've... Uh, <laughs> Is that anywhere near accurate? It's absolutely nowhere near accurate. Can you give us a more accurate figure? Of course not. <laughs> Um, the reason that we um, uh, party company, I think RCA and myself, were that uh, we weren't really rec recognizing each other's qualities um, to any endearing way. So, uh, and uh, I had such a general burst of enthusiasm for me, am I, that I... Um, in fact, one of the executives once suggested that he get me another apartment in Philadelphia so I can go back to writing Young Americans and stuff, which is just not uh, a very sort of healthy atmosphere to write and record in. But yet, ironically, that's the sort of thing you've done with your first new record for EMI, not yes. exactly Young Americans of Philadelphia sound, but a black yes. New York style. Yeah. Well, it's much better when nobody's actually telling me what to do. <laughs> What about the new album and the, the single that's out already is yeah. very much more direct, much more rhythm and blues than yes. the, the recent David Bowie yeah. output. Yeah, um, I got to a st stage two years ago where I, f I found that the experimenting that I was doing was uh, eradicating a lot of the subject matter of my writing. But now I feel for the next few years I'll be concentrating uh, on a lot more basic, earthier kind of material. 
more emotional songs? Yes, I think so, for me, anyway. Is that because of a change in your own outlook and personality? Uh, yeah, there's a gradual shift, I mean, when you reach mid-30s. Uh, I think that there's a period where you have to decide not to try and grasp frantically for the feelings of uh, desperation and anger that you have when you're in your mid-twenties, I think. And if you can relax into the idea that being mid-thirties is quite a ni nice place to be with a, an amount of experience behind you, you know, I think the perspective changes. How seriously do you take the business of writing pop songs? Uh, very. I mean, I always have. I still think it's one of the most direct and, and can be one of the most important of the art forms. Quite as important as, I, I'm sure it's, I guess, replaced painting in terms of defining one's uh, society or culture, quite definitely. theatrical musical style has led him naturally to theatre. He starred in films like Rogues, The Man Who Fell to Earth, stage plays like The Elephant Man, and television drama like the BBC production of Brex Baal. He treated his press conference more like a cool actor than a cool pop star, almost like some future Dirk Bogard in the making. Thank you very much and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. But then he has got two feature films opening in the next few months, including Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence, the first film in seven years from Japan's controversial director, Nagisa Oshima. In the past, your acting roles have very much been as an alien, an outsider in society. Are those the sort of roles you've particularly gone for, or just...? Yes. Uh, I always look for uh, characters who have either an emotional or a physical limp. Um, I find that, uh, for me, not being a... Um, uh, I don't really see my future in, in acting to a greater extent than my involvement now. So I, I, I really like to have characters that I can at least play around with. Do you see the acting as more important than music? I mean, how do you actually judge the I, importance of the but two But they're sides? both very different. I mean, one is uh, up until Oshima. I don't know, my experience may change from now, but up until Oshima, one is very much under the direction of somebody else's personality and uh, vision. Uh, whereas in my own music, of course, it's the reverse. Um, so I can't really equate them too much. <coughs> but with Oshima, I was given great freedom to interpret the role very much the way that I saw it. What about the future? Is it a question of simply picking and choosing different styles of music, different theatrical projects you want to go into, or anything completely immediate, different? To immediate that? ambition is to um, direct something uh, for myself. I've had uh, not a little experience with which is f what is fast becoming the new school of uh, filmmaking, learning, learn as you earn, I guess. The promo film, the rock promo, I'm, puts its smack over in four minutes. Uh, but now I want to go into something a little more ambitious, maybe something around 30 minutes. <laughs> 25 minutes would do. Is the question of still wanting to prove something for yourself, or uh, it's what's just, the motivation I mean, now? I, it's, uh, uh, one can't fight the urge to play around with film, you know, and video, and, and sort of... It's a magic world when you, when you can create that little world and, and portray its environment and the characters in it. I mean, it's, uh, it becomes obsessive. Attention, Paula. We are now going into a film now um, of David Bowie. You're a fan of his, I believe. I uh, love little David. I talked to him. Um, this is a new book by, uh, by, by, by Robert Pitt, uh, Kenneth Pitt, rather. Kenneth Pitt, who, who, who wrote this book. And I don't know what David would think if he could see it. And I'm not sure what David will think if he can see this film. Well, I hope he likes it. Just look through your window. Look who sits outside. Little me is waiting. Standing through the night. When you walk out through your door, I'll wave my flag and shout, Ah, beautiful baby, my burning desire started on Sunday. Give me your heart and I'll love you till Tuesday. Da -da -da.
when I got home, I put it on for me, Mum and Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, son, you do make us laugh. That was very good. More than anything else, I saw that a lot of my songs were very illustrative and picturesque. And I felt there were other ways of performing them on stage. I was never very confident of my voice, you see, as a singer. So I thought, rather than just sing them, which would probably bore pants of everybody, I would, um, I'd like to kind of be dimensional. I wanted to give it dimension. I wanted to give it some other dimension, other than that of just being song. <laughs> I know people think me unnecessarily secretive. If I were you, I'd be secretive. On my basket cases now. Television. The strange thing about television is that it doesn't tell you everything. It shows you everything about life on Earth. The true mysteries remain. Perhaps it's in the nature of television. Just waves in space. This is Major Tom's a ground control I'm stepping through the door And I'm floating in the most peculiar way And the stars look very different Out to be a card. <laughs> it soon got around. Everyone knew. Then it was the local concert.
more and more I look at the stuff that I've done I'm finding the mistakes a lot more interesting than the intentions mm -hmm. um, it's uh, that with every movie that I've made the process has always been very enjoyable the end result is the end result and it's there and that's that and uh, one doesn't have regrets or Third evening you've been in here. She has left, my dear. It's too late. I really can't understand why she'd leave without telling anybody. She didn't give a shit about you. For me, film is something that I, that I just find... I'll, any piece of crap, I can find something good in it. Mm. Um, me too. I, it's, adverts it's, are good. I, just, I like adverts. I think they're really exciting. I just love...